Sheriff's departments and uh, local peace depart police departments are local peace officers. They enforce the law and maintain peace and order. Ideally, they are members of the communities in which they serve. The Department of Defense's 1033 program has helped to sometimes distort the relationship between police and their communities by providing over $5 billion in surplus military equipment to local police, including vehicles and military-grade weapons. Police who patrol the streets and neighborhoods in armored MRAPs while armed to the hilt can easily lose sight of their role, which is to protect and serve, and instead take on the mindset of a paramilitary, paramilitary occupation force. The routine showing of military authority on our streets creates mistrust that only further deepens the divide between law enforcement and the people they are sworn to protect and serve. My amendment is simple. It would prohibit the transfer of mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, or MRAPs, for, for free, straight from the Department of Defense to local law enforcement agencies. This am amendment is not about regulating what types of equipment law enforcement agencies and police should not have. Instead, it's about whether this Congress should purchase MRAPs for fighting wars abroad and then allow the Department of Defense to give that equipment away to civilian law enforcement here at home for free to use on the streets of America. Local governments in consultation with the law enforcement agencies they oversee should decide what types of equipment their law enforcement agencies can acquire. Law enforcement agencies should not unilaterally make that decision independent of civilian authority. The local governments can purchase whatever equipment they deem necessary for use by the agencies under their control through their local budgeting process, and they can also seek financial assistance to purchase necessary equipment from federal grant programs. This amendment doesn't touch grant money or state or local government's freedom to purchase the equipment they need. The local budget process and application for federal grant programs involve making choices based on need and funding, while the 1033 program is an unregulated pipeline of free equipment directly from the Pentagon to the law enforcement agency. When the equipment is free and in plentiful supply and civilian authority is not involved, the calculus is very simple. Why not accept free equipment? Why not obtain equipment based on desire rather than need? However, if acquiring the equipment required to use required the use of local funds or involved applying for grant money, the decision would be more deliberative and inclusive of civilian authority. Other factors would be considered, including whether there's a need for such equipment, how will the equipment be used, and whether the community consents to being policed with such equipment. This amendment simply shuts off the pipeline of military equipment from the battlefield to our main streets. This amendment forces us to consider whether MRAPs, designed and purchased for battle in the Iraqi desert, are suitable for our local police. It forces us to consider whether an ordinary American citizen would truly feel comfortable approaching an officer for help if the officer were behind the wheel of a 15-ton armored vehicle just returned from combat in Afghanistan. And this amendment would end the transfer of these armored vehicles to school systems and universities across the country. Are our children so unruly that order can only be maintained with the use of an MRAP? Unless this amendment passes, a vote for the underlying bill will ultimately fund the purchase of MRAPs, which will one day be transferred back home for use against our constituents. The consequences are too dangerous to continue this indiscriminate flow of uh, weaponry to the streets of the nation. I urge uh, support for this amendment. With that, I